Uh, real quick, Facebook on the defensive yes. this morning is a story yes. in the New York Times. Yes, they ought to be. <laughs> I mean. Right. This, but this is an, an incredible piece of investigative journalism. Right. It, its report details the scope of its data sharing deals with 60 device makers, including Apple, Samsung, Microsoft. According to the Times, the partnerships gave the companies um, access to users' personal data as well as the information of their friends, even if they specifically blocked Facebook from sharing their information from third parties. This is like the Cambridge Analytica scandal, but that was app developers. Facebook said, oh, we ended that in 2014, but not this. They only started dialing this back in April when it looked like they were going to get caught, probably. That's exactly right. And this is why we have been on all of these edge providers. Facebook Facebook, YouTube, Google, the search engines, all of them, because we need to have privacy legislation. It's like the Wild West. Your bank, your health care, everybody has privacy standards. This segment of the virtual space, zero privacy standards. That's why we need to pass the Browser Act. That's why we need a data security bill. You, the consumer, need the ability to opt in and decide what of your identifying information. And Congresswoman, you were you co-chaired the Bipartisan Privacy Working Group yes. on this, and one of the biggest issues that I'm seeing happening yes. through Facebook and situations like this is that you're able to target ads and discriminate. I mean, basically what happened with Facebook is in the fall, ProPublica exposed how you could do housing ads to target whites only. And so it went against African Americans, mother of high school kids. When are they going to be held accountable? We continue to try to hold them accountable, and CPNI is this bundle of information. It is yours. You should be able to protect, as I say, the virtual you. And the fact that Facebook or Google or any of these edge providers are without your consent. Wow. They share you. Right. Your virtual you online, they're doing it without your consent, needs to stop. That's why we need to pass the legislation. Congressman Marsha Blackburn, great Good to, to see, see you. you. A, a nice uh, southern voice. Anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> praising that.